Most women are raised to believe their true role is that of wife and mother, but some women are questioning whether this is so. Is this the true role? Do I have to get married? Do I have to get pregnant? Do I have a choice? Birth control, especially the pill, provided women the choice. At this clinic in Washington, and clinics like it all over the country, and privately in doctor's offices, millions of women started taking the pill, and they had unprecedented freedom from unwanted pregnancies. But there were questions about the pill's safety, and in Senate hearings on it in January, there were many who said that the pill can be dangerous. Of the first 18 people to testify at the hearings, none were women, but women went anyway. You are not going to sit quietly any longer. You are murdering us for your profit and convenience. Who, are gonna, who is going to pay the medical bills when a woman develops cancer of the breast or cancer of the uterus? Are you going to give us free medical care? No, we want to have some have control the over the decisions that affect uh, our All parents. right, will you please sit down or be removed from no, the No, we aren't going to sit down. Why don't uh, you give us some solid uh, answers to our questions? Yes, you're going to take women, you're going to drag women out of this hearing whose lives are at stake. That's a fine way to run something. You cannot call us uh, here. These questions affect our lives. A recent poll found that almost 20% of women who were taking the pill have stopped. As a result, doctors predict the rate of unwanted pregnancy will rise. And this again brought into focus the question of what women do about unwanted pregnancies. Many women say they should have recourse to abortions, but this is often impossible since most states won't allow it, and those that do have such stringent medical requirements, few women qualify. Most women who want abortions must go around the law, and a million do that in this country every year.